So here's the deal, folks. I'm making an easy, another easy one pan uh, vegetarian dish. This is easy and fast. It involved, and you've noticed that I've avoided making dishes with pasta because I feel like that's what every vegetarian, and that's a kind of normal vegetarian dish go to. Just do pasta and don't add meat. But I'm doing something a little different that involves some protein. In this case, four eggs. Uh, I have two cups of frozen peas, a white onion, a bunch of uh, arugula, fresh arugula. And, and also, you know that I tend to like to make my own ingredients like gnocchi. But in this case, I'm buying prepackaged gnocchi from a reputable, reputable uh, seller. Uh, product line, I should say, and I just want to get the pot, the hot water up to a boil. And the rule of thumb with uh, pastas of any kind is you really need to triple the water. What you think you need, you need triple that because it allows, it keeps the, prevents the, uh, helps the pasta not to stick and it allows it to circulate because the temperature of the water is different in the bottom and the top. And um, for to get started, we're going to um, just slice the white onion. And I'm not going to cut it through the, I'm not cutting it through the root this time into half because I'm not dicing it. I want to, um, make rings like you would make rings of um, for onion rings, you know. Or you could even you could do it in half and then just um, keep the pieces lengthwise, so just half the circumference. But I'm going to keep them all and make them pretty thin slices see that can go all the way through but i'm not bothered because we're going to cook them in um butter at the end with cream and that's going to be the sauce but it's all going to be in the same pan and it is a little harder to do if you don't have a flat edge so maybe i will cut it in half change my mind you can change your mind at least you have you don't have to worry about cutting yourself because you have this base to go on. So I'm cutting the whole white onion. It's a Vidalia onion. You could use any onion. I'm not bothered. Take the skin away. And uh, turn this one over and do the same here. Nice. Notice this motion. You actually go down and forward. That's why it's shaped like this. And as you get to the end, you can keep going until you just have the fat part left. So that can go into a little bowl. Uh, or not, just leave it. So there's fewer dishes. I, I'm not sure if I need to chop the arugula, there looks like baby arugula, so yeah, maybe I won't need to chop it, so I don't need room on my board. And I can hear this coming to a boil. Well, I hear it, but it's not true. I have four eggs, farm fresh eggs, and we're going to start with the eggs, and we're going to do um, a soft boil. So I'm going to do that for four or five minutes. I might have to look it up. A semi-hard boil with a bit of cooking on the yolk would be six. And I've washed these because these came from the farm and uh, they didn't go through any kind of the same kind of processes uh, food goes, eggs go through at the for supermarket. So you need to wash that. Now, when this gets to the temperature, 
salted well because we're using the same water for all the ingredients. And I will, I will let you know when that happens. Okay, so clearly this has come to a boil nicely. Now we add our salt and it should be, there's quite a lot of water in there. This is my small stuff pot, but it's quite large. So I'm going to add lots of salt. And then I'm going to gently lower my eggs in there. I'm not going to throw them in. I'm aware, you know, if they crack, it's, you kind of ruin the whole effect. So let them go and then set your timer. Oh yeah, that one cracked. See? So I have to get another one. And then, ah! And I'll get another one. And then set your timer for five minutes. All right. It hit the bottom, but I don't see any cracking. Okay, set your timer for five minutes. Okay, so that's been five minutes. I realized that the reason the eggs, the egg, the one egg broke or split open was because I had a boiling boil here. Now I want to, and so I needed to turn this down. Now we're going to cool them off immediately to stop cooking in water. This one. And when they're cool, we're going to peel them. Meanwhile, we're going to bring the water back up to a boil. And I'm going to peel these off camera. And hopefully they're the right amount of doneness. I want some. I want it to be runny in the center. Ooh, that's Hot. Okay. Okay, the eggs are peeled. Okay. I don't know how the doneness in the center is, but I'm not bothered. Hopefully, I'll sh the ones I like I can show you. We brought the bo the same water back up to a roiling, a vigorous boil, and we're gonna put in all the gnocchi. Ah! <laughs> and they go to the bottom. And within one to three minutes, they'll rise to the top, which means they're done. Get your colander ready. And you got your peas. Also have some butter available. This all happens really quickly. I probably should get in my serving bowl ready also. I'll use this one. And we'll just wait. Of course, it takes the temperature down a bit of the water. Don't fool with it. It'll come back. They'll come up. It'll come up to a boil. I probably maybe will turn the temperature. No, I don't know. We want it to come to a boil. We want them to be cooked through. And then we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to have to wait for that. Like I said, one to three minutes. I'll edit this video later. All right, they started to rise. I've got like three, five, seven coming to the top. That means the air bubbles inside so they've expanded. And it um, means they're cooked. So I want, now I have about... 20, 20, maybe 15. We want to see all of them come. The peas are frozen, and these are actually uh, a good brand of peas. So I know they're, they're going to be tasty. Um, but, okay, they're coming, they're coming. They're going to, they're frozen, so they're going to turn the temperature way down when I put them in. That's why the gnocchi has to come to the top there. It is. They're all on top. Add the peas. Stir for a minute. No. Oh, they didn't all go in. Just a couple more. They're, they're, I, I, they're, they're flash frozen after they're cooked, so they're basically already cooked. 
Now we're going to add, the water is not really boiling, but it doesn't matter because we're going to wilt the arugula into, oh, don't let it burn. I'm making it burn. Ah, okay. We're just going to squish, we're wilting that. And it's re basically ready to strain. See how it looks? Very helpful. So I'm going to tank a cup of the water. Remember, it's salty because we salted it. We only need around three cups, I mean, uh, three quarters of a cup of the pasta water. So I have one cup here. And I'm going to bring this over to the sink and I'm going to strain everything in the col colander. We don't want to cook the hang out of our veggies. All right. Now we're going to put this back on here with the onions and some butter. And I need to get the butter out because I told you to get butter out and I didn't actually get the butter out. All right, so we need butter. And I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna add butter and oil because I feel like butter likes to burn too fast. And we're gonna cook up these onions which is going to provide lots of flavor. Let's go. And separate them. Oh, and it's too hot. Put it to medium. I'm going to separate those rings out. Remember, I sliced them into rings. When they melt out, there's a piece of leaf. Those leaves will burn, so don't bother with them. This is rather hot. My oven, my stovetop takes a while to react to changes, and I don't want to burn them. I just want to get them into a translucent, you know, cooked state. I'm not caramelizing them, I'm just cooking them. Some of my pieces are a little large. Oops! So I'm cutting it with a spoon. Okay, so that is going to create a little browning on the bottom, which is all right, it creates flavor. That's going to take a minute or so, and we got to get, we have our water, we need cream. But I only need a quarter cup of it. I think I'll use a third of a cup because this is a pretty big portion. But I'm not going to pour it in the pan when it's hot. I'm going to take it off the heat, which means I'm going to need a little space. Eh, this will be fine. Okay, the onions are kind of, they're sweating, as you would say, as one might say. Sweating down. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. Some of the onions are really sliced thinly. And others are very thinly. So I didn't do an amazing job of that. I just want to show you what it looks like. You know what? I forgot the cheese. I'm going to take it off the heat. I have to grate the cheese. I'm going to add the cream off the heat. Like this. I'm not going to put the cheese in without the cream because that will 
will not, it won't melt properly. So I need my grater. I'm using pecorino here, but I use with this parmesan. And you kind of want a lot. I'm gonna use this whole block maybe. Or maybe half the block. I didn't weigh it out. Let's just see how it stirs up in there. Remember, you have all that gnocchi goodness left. And I'm going to get it back on the heat shortly. And I'm going to add some. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use all the cheese. It was a small block. Here we go. We're gonna add some pasta water, but we're gonna add the gnocchi first. This has a lot of salt in it too. There'll be no, no, that's all right. I think that's enough for now. So I'm gonna put it back on here. The heat's on medium low. I'm going to add back the gnocchi and vegetables, which are nice and steamy. I probably won't add all of them because I think I used too many. Let's see. Now we're going to stir that. And we're going to slowly add the pasta water because the cream is starting to boil so I'm just adding a drip at a time because we're trying to get it to coat. We want it to coat like that. I don't know if you can see one of them. It's going to be creamy and cheesy and we don't want it too thick. I don't think I need any more um, pasta water. But I am definitely going to add pepper, and I think I might add more cheese. And if that thickens it up, there's a temperature at medium low. I don't like this grinder. I've already grinded some. Here it is. Nice. And that's boiling up. And then, you know what? I'm putting that all in. What am I going to do with that? I'm just going to add a little more cream. Just a dash. And a little more cheese. Are you watching? Hello. Because if you add just cream, you're not going to have the flavor if you don't add some more cheese. So let's just get this together. Oh, that's like a kind of like a carbonara. That's pretty, it's kind of like vegetarian carbonara, but with gnocchi. And I am going to add a little more pasta water, which is starchy, and it will help get the sauce nice and not, what's the word, what is, like clunky. When you cook down cream and cheese and it gets kind of clunky. Okay. I'm going to let it boil down a little bit, keeping the pasta water in case I go too far. And then, of course, you've got to taste it. Oh, I think it's nice. It's kind of like very healthy mac and cheese. I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to pour it in my serving bowl right now, all of it at once. And you know who's going to be eating it? Me, because I, I'm the only one that eats this stuff. So we're not done yet. 
and the pot's not been burned on the bottom, that's great. Easy cleanup. Temperature on. Okay, so that looks good. So we're not done yet. That's hot. I'm just going to put this aside. And we're going to do the egg part. And I'm just going to, I want the eggs to run out. So I'm going to do them lengthwise, very gently. Oh yeah, well, they're still got, still has a nice look. Let's see what other one I want. This one will do. Oh, and this one has a nice runny yolk, yum. Okay. I think that needs to go in. This needs to be cleaned up. Something's gonna fall. Ah. Okay. That's creamy, cheesy, one pan vegetarian gnocchi. Oops. I need that back so it has a nice picture. But that runny yolk is really genius. And you know what? It's still hot inside after all that time cooling and peeling. Okay, so that's that. Oh, you know what? I would do a little more embellishments with pepper. But it doesn't really need anything else. Oh, I quite like that. What do you think?